Shalom, my nishma. How you doing, guys? Just wanted to show you. The beekeeper uh, just arrived and he put many, many beehives in the almond orchard, okay, for the honeybees to help us uh, pollinate the uh, orchard. On each plank of wood, you have four beehives, okay? So they're busy, busy. So I'll give you, a, just for a second, a few, uh, a little uh, information about the uh, almond orchard. So an almond orchard, how it works, you have one line of male, okay? Then six lines of females, and then an extra line of male. Now there's two types of males in the almond. You have a early bloomer, like this one, this line over here. You can see how beautiful the flowers over here. Now the female next to it, you see, she's almost naked. There's only a few, few flowers. And you have a late bloomer. Something like three weeks uh, difference between the uh, early and the late bloomer. The idea is to make sure we pollinate the female uh, trees. Uh, even if now there's rain, in a three weeks time, we'll have uh, another male that will bloom. Now we can see the bees here are working hard. Many, many beautiful bees taking nectar. And then with their sticky feet, in the moment they enter the flower, they're sucking nectar and then the sticky feet will take pollen. And when they go to the next tree, to the uh, female uh, line, they will pollinate. Okay, and then we'll have beautiful almonds. Now this is from the last year. Now these are the honeybees. They pollinate and they create for the beekeeper beautiful honey. Now okay. for the bombus bees, these are bees that do not sting. They do not create honey. Okay, we bring them only, only for pollination. That's the only reason they're here. Now you can see there's, in each box, there's three little hives, okay? Now they have an entrance over here. You can see they are much more larger than a honeybee. They're big, they're hairy, they're very fluffy. Very nice bees, beautiful bees, but they do not create honey. And they do not sting. So it's not a problem standing next to them. You know, you can touch the box, everything. It's not a problem. Now, the main reason we're doing this is these bees are much more tougher than honeybees, okay? Even if it's windy and even if it's a little bit rainy, they will still go outside and they will still move from flower to flower and do the pollination work for us. And it's to uh, increase your percentage of success. Because in the end of the day, without any pollination, there won't be any almonds. Without any almonds, we won't have nothing to pick and we won't get money. So this is the Bombus beehive. Now, in the, a few years ago, you see these in the middle of the orchard. You have many rows of a mixture of flowers, okay? Now, in the old days, they used to cultivate in the middle because they wanted to get rid of these weeds. And now they found out that, first of all, these weeds are very good because it's holding the ground against if there's a lot of rain, so the rain won't do, you know, like holes in the ground. And in the moment you have only uh, almond flowers, the bees get rather tired and uh, they get fed up of only almond uh, flowers. So they will go over to other pastures where there are different flowers, wild flowers. So the moment you leave this mixture of beautiful flowers, it means that the bees will always keep in the orchard, okay? So that is a little, uh, small little tip for you guys in the world. Now, you know, this is a bombus bee at work. You see, she's much more larger than the honeybee. Let's see if we can find another one. Now, sadly, the bombus bees, they don't live long. They are here for a month. And then sadly, they just gradually, slowly, slowly die. We buy them from a place that they, uh, they are specialized. They're growing them specially for only for this reason. It's not like honeybees that, you know, you can move them from place to place. So I just wanted to show you guys and explain a little bit. So have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching. Do a like, do a subscribe if you like this kind of videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.